Hello friends, Kishan is here again. So this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial where we had created one project is called a Spring Ex Expression Language with Collections. So here in this project we are going to learn how to access the individual elements of the list or how to use I mean filter or projections using a spring expression language so uh, this is the place where uh, I had left uh, in previous tutorial so let's continue from here itself so this is a list which contains the uh, list of failed student so let's print this list as well so student 2 dot get student name and his marks also we can print so here we are just trying accessing the third student in the list so here we can third student the list sorry and here we can print a uh, student name name of students name of a student in the names of the, of the students in the list so, and now finally we are printing list of failed students so let's run this program so right click over here run as java project so here we got third student in the list if you if you refer the uh, configuration file then let me show you the configuration file so third student in the list is referring a student 3 so student 3 is nothing but the rocky right so and uh, oh, oh got the 90 marks so that we are printing over here now second SOP what we are doing just we are extracting the name of every student and populating in the, into this list so so name of all students we are printing over here name of the students are Sean, Danny, Rocky and Jimmy finally we are printing the list of failed student shown who got 30 marks and jimmy got 20 marks these two students got failed because here we have given the criteria students who got marks less than 40 they all are failed so let's let me explain this configuration file because to understand this configuration file is very important for you so here is the student model class which contains two fields name and marks so I have declared this bin and whose id is student1 and these two properties i have initialized name and marks so i have made i have made three copies of students and i have initialized with the different uh, values different names and different marks finally i have configured one more bin is called a student list uh, which class type is java.util.arraylist and we have uh, used constructor uh, base injection and i have configured all above four students in this list and here basically i have used uh, this uh, student list accessor class contains four fields like third student in the list failed students and student names so here basically i have used a spring expression uh, language so so here basically in this line 
this expressions we are basically we access the third element of the list using a square bracket notation here you need to pass the index this highlights the usage of accessing individual elements using the expression language now next thing what we have done here we are just uh, ex uh, just we are doing some uh, filtering filtering things so basically uh, we are populating the value of failed students property by using the spring expression language uh, in this expression we have root, written a student list and we have used this compound operator and saying that a student who got less than 40 marks just make the list of those students and put into this list so basically we are populating value of failed student property by using the spring expression language in the expression in this expression we filter out students in the list with marks less than 40 they are using the compound operator this highlights the usage of performing operate operations on the list using spring expression language finally we are just we are using the projection so this uh, i mean compound operator you can use to perform uh, filtration so basically we are populating the value of a student names property by using the spring expression language uh, in the expression in this expression we project the student list into another list containing only the names of all the students using this compound operator this highlights the usage of performing projections into a list using a spring expression language so that these are the things i wanted to cover in this session so i hope you enjoyed learning this video if you like my tutorial then please like and provide your valuable comments so thanks for watching my video see you in next video tutorial